This is a very economic way to store the energy uh, without having to purchase batteries. What's up, folks? It's Holy Joe Rock and Roll coming back to you live and unscripted. I earlier did a video on a coal-fired mass accumulator that I saw in a restaurant in Krakow. But today, I, and I've been promising to show you the electric ones. So in my apartment here, you can see these huge, uh, they're probably seven and a half feet tall, eight feet tall, uh, boxes basically made out of brick covered with a really nice uh, ceramic tile or porcelain tile. And these uh, probably have been here for over a hundred years. This building was built in 1918. So, okay, quite, not quite a uh, hundred years, but almost a hundred years. Um, and in the old days, they burnt wood or coal. And you can see on the floor, you can see where actually there's burn marks from when they used to feed this thing with wood and coal. This is the burn box here which has now been converted to electric. So what happens is on off-peak hours, the energy company sends energy to the, this heating circuit. It's a separate, dedicated circuit to be used only for heating. The tariff or the rate is about 50% less than your normal rate. So it's discounted electric. And during off-peak times, this heat will work. This electricity will work and it basically provides uh, electricity which heats up these bricks. So over the course of a day, let's say 24 hour period, the brick will start to warm up. And then when the electricity is not on, the bricks are obviously gonna be radiating heat. So this is a really a great way to warm uh, a house, especially here in Poland or any climate where it's cold. Now, what I, have sort of discovered or would like to propose for the United States or for places that are using alternative energy, this is actually also a way as a, a heat or as an energy sink. Instead of using a battery to store electricity, I know that in the Pacific Northwest, they actually started a program. They probably are using different equipment, different designs where when there's a lot, and, and actually by the way, uh, according to an article I read on you, uh, Yahoo, Yahoo News, the Pacific Northwest during some of the storms actually is able to produce 100% of the necessary electricity. And in some cases during the, a, a recent storm, not too long ago, there was so much wind and also there was rain. So there's a lot of hydroelectric being produced in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, you can't really control the hydroelectric. You got to let the water flow. So they're producing more than enough electricity from hydroelectric that they turned off the windmills or they disconnected the electricity from the windmills to the grid. Now, of course, this, this peed off, pissed off the windmill owners because they get paid only when they produce electricity and feed it into the grid. And in fact, some of their tax credits are only are based upon them producing electricity. So what the utilities in the Pacific Northwest have started to do is, uh, for op optional for customers and as a free upgrade from what I understand put in sort of a heat sink where they would when there's excess electricity they would do a couple things number one they would heat your water extra hot right make it you know basically you'd have extra electricity so they would heat your water in your water tank electric water tank extra hot just to store that energy as hot water now of course you need a hot water cutoff valve or you know so that when the water comes into your sink or whatever, it's going to detect the overheat and mix it with cold water so you don't get scalded, right? That's a, it's an easy fix. It's easy. Any plumber can do that. But also they were talking about having heat sinks. Now, I haven't seen the design of those, but I can only imagine in a, uh, in a normal American house that maybe has an electric heat pump, perhaps they would put some kind of, something very similar to this, maybe a couple of bricks, you know, uh, and store that energy in 
in physical form. Anybody who's uh, in the Pacific Northwest who is involved in this energy program, I would love to hear from you. And if you have any comments or questions, please uh, make them below. Uh, I'll try to have some additional information, some links down below for you. And thank you again for watching the video. Now I want to show you something, if, you, if you're scared off by, by this huge monstrosity, right? It's about seven and a half feet tall. There is another option. Here is a smaller model, which works almost as well. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have the mass of, of the bigger models, but it certainly puts out a lot of heat and works well. And here it is. This is a very small one. Uh, comes up to my, you know, sort of midsection, so it's maybe two and a half, three feet tall if, if, at the most. And it's maybe, you know, how big is that? Uh, maybe a foot and a little more than a foot and a half square. It's a little bit more rectangle, but it's basically a metal box and inside there is a heating element and heating element and bricks um, to, uh, to absorb the heat. And it's a closed system, uh, requires virtually no maintenance. I've lived here for almost 10 years and haven't had any maintenance issues with this. Some of the bigger ones, uh, I've had to replace, well, an electrician came and replaced some of the heating elements or it, on one of them, and occasionally some of the electrical wire that connects to the heating elements has to be replaced. It's just basic, some basic maintenance. But I wanted to uh, share this with you. This is just uh, an option. Um, if you have, if, you know, if you're living off the grid or you want to have an idea how you could live off the grid, how would you store this energy? This is a very economic way to store the energy uh, without having to purchase batteries and deal with it. You might still have a battery backup system, but if you can't afford one, certainly you probably can afford a pile of bricks, which, uh, you know, a few dollars a piece, maybe you need 180, 200 bricks. Um, that's certainly less than uh, a battery bank, you know, of 12 batteries, 12 12 volt batteries or whatever the, the normal, normal arrangement is, deep cell, deep cycle batteries. So, reporting to you live from Krakow, it's Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Till next time, peace out.